Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion. Doesn't do as badly in dailies as he used to do. Yesterday we were like 600th when we finished, which means we probably finished around 800, then compromised our position in the top 100 if we're even in there anymore, but that's not for us to be concerned with. I've heard two major complaints in the last three dailies. People have said play better. Fair enough. They said stop talking about jet lag. Also fine. We're starting today's daily. We have a battery and three beans. Today is in... What is today's special day? Check a day. In God We Trust Day, April Showers Day, Chemists Celebrate the Earth Day, Earth Day, that's a big one, International Macaroni Day, that's a huge one too, and National Jelly Bean Day. Of, I mean, Earth Day is like a real, not a holiday, but like day of... Observance. You chose National Jelly Bean Day for your daily? Look, don't let me tell you how to make your game, but anyway. We are starting with Wait What at least, which is great because we get unlimited bombs. I feel you, you know, I at the same time, I did, I saw a comment, it was highly upvoted, which makes me sad. But it shouldn't because, you know, everybody even leaving these comments has been watching the videos for a long time and it's not about like you know if they hate and let them hate to watch the money pile up it's just like I understand you know as a fan of the Vancouver Canucks loving something and then also being like why are why is the thing that I love so stupid um, so rest assured I'm, I'm very aware of the um, of the transactional nature of that but said wool goes on vacation for a week completes uh, proceeds to complain about jet lag for the next month first off in that daily, I've been back for 24 hours after a 14 hour time difference. That's a reasonable amount to complain about jet lag. This isn't your aunt driving across state lines and then being like, Oh, it's 6 p.m. I'm tired. Okay? Secondly, I'll do better. On today's daily, I feel adjusted. I feel well. I feel good. I knew that I would. I don't know if that actually created any, um... Yeah, okay, so it probably did. I was just trying to make sure that it actually, like did give us a chance to find the secret room, you know what I mean? Like, the, the secret room locations are weird right now, so I'm just trying to... Would this... this would find it, right? Maybe there's no secret room? We're not really wasting too much time here. Where does this one go? Oh, this is a... it's a, effectively a delirium run, um, which is cool. Alright, well, apparently fuck me, I guess. I think I'm using it improperly, maybe. And that's part of the problem. And by part, I mean all of the problem. Okay, so look, blow this dude up. He did explode. We're at 15 cents. Ooh, this is a tricky one, isn't it? Because, like, spider mod is great, but we don't ever need to use a self-sacrifice room. I think I'm going to stick with wait what? But I'm happy that I was able to use the potato peeler a couple of times. Because you do get a damage bonus for that. And, um... Maybe we should have only used it once, but this means that our next uh, Meat Boy, if we get one, is going to be worth more. You know, it's going to be a third level. So, I don't know. It, probably not everybody's going to agree with that, but... Um, I found myself damage-starved on a few runs lately. Not necessarily dailies, so, you know, you'll see them in time, but... On a few runs lately, I've found myself devoid of the damage I felt necessary to succeed. So, even just getting a small boost like we did just now could be valuable. Now, I am disappointed, because I, I didn't get the amount of money necessary to buy a spear at heart, but... It happens. All we need to do is find one tinted rock. See, like, I, I hope I'm not messing up the wait what play here. Because what I'm doing, in case it's not abundantly clear, holy crap, get out of here. Is, um... Oh, there's a tinted rock right there. I'm trying to stand far enough away that, like, I'm creating... Uh, rocks, and then those rocks can blow up the enemies for me, or blow up the the access to the secret room. And it has not appeared to work that way so far. Um, or I've just been in the wrong situation every time, so... We should also, I mean, you never know where the seam is gonna be here. You know, we, we actually don't need a seam as long as we make it to the hush fight, because we're gonna be able to, uh... Oh, that's definitely not a secret room, to be fair, but... Um, Basically, we, we're not going to get shut out of where we need to go unless we're too slow. So it's not like an AWAS daily. It's not a, 
a teleportation self-sacrifice room daily unless we want it to be which I you know spoilers definitely fucking don't he didn't get dusted as much as I wanted him to get dusted the knockback did not do it for me see like the wait what pushes him too far back so I had a bone to pick. People were like, stop talking about jet lag, it's too meta. I didn't think I was talking about it that much, but I'll accept, you know. So you, oh, that was a fast shot. Part of this job is, is understanding the barometer of public opinion. So I gotta ask you guys about tortilla chips. And I, this is like, I have conversations on the NLSS, and I'm very passionate about... I mean, we, sh we should, in my opinion at least. Uh, I'm very passionate about my opinion on those, as you know if you've watched the show. Um, like, for example, and Nick, I know you're probably watching this, but the concept of making seven peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on a Sunday, and then eating, like, putting them in the fridge, and then eating one a week, sorry, one a day for the next week, is actually insane to me. And, and when I said that, I do think that most people agreed with me. I'm not trying to frame it like I was like being persecuted for my objectively correct beliefs. But people were like, NL, you know food food prep is a thing, right? Yeah, I know food prep is a thing, you know? You're, you're trying to get fit or save money or save time and you're like, oh, I'm gonna make a bunch of, uh, you know, stir fry tonight or something like that and I'll just reheat it for dinner throughout the week. Or, you know, I'll make a bunch of chili and then I'll eat it for lunch throughout the week. Believe you me, I understand that. When I was in college, I did exactly that. I made a big pot of chili on, um, I think this is our secret, no, I don't know where our secret room is. Um, I made a big pot of chili on Sundays, and then I had like seven meals of that chili, and it was great. But the sandwiches, it's a terrible idea. It saves you almost no time. M cooking a pot of chili takes basically the same amount of time as cooking a bowl of chili, unless you're microwaving something out of a can, which is also fine. Don't let me tell you how to live your life, but you know, you're saving the time of doing the untwist on the bread. I have no idea where the secret rooms are, apparently, and that's it. Um, but, anyway, this this is beside the point. Okay, we did find a secret room. I think we should go check this quickly, and we should blow this up. And we did not get a nickel, which is very disappointing to me, but we're still in a good spot here. We are roughly on schedule, but we also did a bunch of extra stuff at the end of that floor, so I'm not worried too much. Um, I... However, sometimes have to come here after, like in these videos, after the NLSS and be like, am I wrong about this thing? Because I do, I mean, I, I want to be fair to my co-hosts. I don't roast Rob for the his paper plate usage because I want to be funny. That's an added benefit, I think. There's no item rooms? Okay. How have I just noticed that? Well, of course, you start with three beans. Why would you ever need extra items? The beans are so good. Wait, what actually isn't bad? Despite what I've said earlier about it being overrated, in my opinion. Um, but I, I do it because I think that that's absurd that an adult, you know, not only uses the paper plates, that's like, you know, you get a slap on the wrist if you go to the Court of Northern Lion for that, but that he's proud of the paper plate usage. Where I come from, if you live a life of... Uh, you know, laziness like that, you're supposed to be ashamed, goddammit. It's the natural order of things. But anyway, I'm still getting sidetracked. When I eat a tortilla chip, I grasp the tortilla chip firmly by a corner. I'm not a, I'm not a face, I'm a corner man. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. It really doesn't find regular secret rooms. Am I losing my mind? Oh, no, it totally does. All right. Um, we're going to go through this floor pretty quickly, by the way. Like, I, I guess I care about... Our exploration bonus, but I also have to ensure that we're going relatively quickly. So I grasp a tortilla chip by the corner, and I insert it at a very, uh, I'm trying to think of what the word is, at a very low angle, or a small angle, so it comes in at like 10 degrees. And it does so because I want the maximum plausible surface area to get covered with salsa. To put it in more, you know, simplistic terms, I'm not a salsa dipper, you know? People that insert the tortilla chip at a 90 degree angle, um, so that the, like, no vegetables have a chance to get on the tortilla chip from the salsa. They just get a little, like a nice little icing of tomato 
and then that's it. It's like, I like my tortilla chips with just a little, little bit of tomato flavoring on top, the same way you dip a french fry or something. I'm not about that lifestyle. When I dip a tortilla chip, it ain't a dip, it's a scoop. And I know what you're saying, they make tortilla chips that fulfill that purpose. I know, but I don't have those, just a regular tortilla chip. I will, I will scoop, doesn't bother me. And I, it came up on the NLSS, because I was like, you know, how many... If you have a, a jar of salsa, which is not a standardized measurement, but let's, you know, ignore that for now. If you have a jar of salsa, how many bags of tortilla chips does it last you? And then people were like, two. Two bags of tortilla chips per... Uh, per jar of salsa. And I was like, nah. Nah, dog. Two jars of salsa per bag of tortilla chips. That was not good damage on my part. I do like that, though. Carry on, queen! Da -da 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 -da, if you know what I'm... See, that was great. Dude. So we want to be out of here within the next four minutes, which I think means we should go to the curse room. Please deal with the devil. We're a little light on damage here. Uh, the speed is actually valuable as well. I'll go to the curse room. I probably should go to the... Uh to the uh, shop, but keep in mind, it is going to take us... We're, we're underpowered right now, so it's going to take us a while on the next floor. Um, and and then all subsequent floors to, to make big progress, so... Um, shit, we're going to lose our money here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and grab it, even though it's going to cost us a little. And we only got three cents out of it, which is bullshit, but anyway. Um, I got many reasons for this. Here's one. I don't want to dip my tortilla chips in ketchup. I want to get salsa. You know, they're, they're two different... Uh, condiments, if you will. Okay, I think I deflected a shot with Wait What, and now my world has been turned upside down. I, like, for me, I like a tortilla chip. I will eat a, a good tortilla chip plain, and it, it would not... Bo okay, I didn't really mean to do that. I guess, you know what? It's a great learning experience, because now I remember. I don't necessarily really need to rush, because if I have to rush later, I can just blow up every door. But, uh, yeah, I like, the, the salsa is the main value proposition for me there. And it's not because, of, you know, I, sometimes people, when they eat food that's bad for them, there's parts of it that are not as bad, and they're like, well, yeah, when I eat a hamburger, I just get it on lettuce, and then it doesn't really matter, because the bun's the worst part. Well, that's probably true, but you're still probably better off having, you know, like a kale salad or something like that. I'm just saying, like, you know. You're taking care of the pennies and hoping the pounds take care of themselves, if you know what I mean. That was a great shot. I did not really pay attention to that, and that's uh, entirely my fault. Ooh, okay, car battery? It seems like car battery's got, like, a point. What? I just wanted to blow that dude up there. Dude, I don't think we need a spirit heart. I think we should look for a better item in the same price range. Like, maybe we can get a 7 cent item in here? Three, I mean, a 3 cent spirit heart is not bad. This thing's eventually gonna blow up, so... I don't think we're costing ourselves too much time here. By the way, we are sort of fucked. Uh, but everybody's sort of fucked on today's daily, so far. It's the way it seems to me, at least. Uh, we have... Basically shit DPS. And we only have shit DPS instead of shitty DPS because of the fact that I was able to pick up the potato peeler and use it a couple of times, which cost me in many ways, but is also, uh, I think, giving me like the slightest edge potentially in the competition space here. But like the lack of uh, functional deal with the devils, item rooms that provide us with anything is. Uh, you know, damning here, but at the same time, I like when a run gets chaotic. You know why? Chaos isn't a pit. It's a ladder. Yeah, I've been watching Game of Thrones. How was that? Honestly, I've never attempted a Peter Baelish impress impression to the best of my knowledge, so for that just coming off the top of the dome piece, I didn't think it was like uncanny, but I was like, you caught the elements of the Peter Baelish impression. It's like an erudite Bobby Boucher from The Water Boy. That's a very Northern Lion-y reference. That's on brand. Let's go. 
I don't want the key bad enough to risk that. Unless it was a key. Mm, Adi Mundi, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so we have Wheel of Fortune and Two of Hearts. Wheel of Fortune is not good. So grab it, throw it down, blow it up, get something out of it. Awaz. Awaz is good. Um, and in fact, it's better than Two of Hearts. We gotta keep Two of Diamonds for many reasons. One is it would be awesome to buy stuff, the other one is points. Chris Hardwick style, dude. We want points. Because on today's daily, that might end up making... Oh, that was close. That might end up making a fairly meaningful difference. Why in the world? Like, I'm, I'm not even that mad. But, like, someone at Nicholas, stand up for yourself, okay? It's embarrassing. Three beans is not worth having no item rooms for the whole run. That's madness. Have you ever played your own video game? That's terrible, dude. This is like, this is a nasty daily. We're still ahead of schedule. Um, I'm gonna go to the curse room because I would love to pick up like Guppy's head or something or, you know, we need something to improve our damage. Everybody's gonna be doing this. I'm not worried about the like very minimal damage penalty from coming into a curse room at this stage in our lives. You know, that doesn't bother me. Verp. Verp gives us another pretty fly, which is irrelevant now, but like it could be worse. Anyway, I still think we're doing all right, but I don't want to get away from the salsa thing too much. Basically, I should have covered this way faster, but let me know in the comments below. Are you a salsa dipper or are you a salsa um, scooper? I understand the dip, don't get me wrong, because I used to do it when I was a little baby. I'm not trying to say that my tastes are more refined now, but I mean, if that's the message you draw from that, then, you know, change comes from within. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Um... But, I always wonder, like, if you have a jar, or you have a... It's not really a can, I guess it's always a jar. If you have a jar of salsa, and you're a dipper, are you just throwing out, like, a bunch of dry vegetables at the bottom of it? Like, you've extracted all the tomato paste, and then you're, uh, you're just throwing out, like, a bunch of onions and green peppers? Deal with the devil. Let's go. This is a big moment. And it's great. Yeah, okay. So, I think we save 1 HP. I am going to save 1 HP for the possibility of future deals with the devil. And I'm going to, well, 2 HP, basically. And I'm going to not go yet. But I probably should, but we we will be able to make the hush fight easily, I think, with this at our disposal now. But I want to go to the shop on this floor because I don't want to miss a thing. Um... So I'm gonna hope that we can get not too many dead ends here. I don't think we need to have Mega ready to pop like immediately on the next floor, as nice as it would be. Just having it like almost completely ready to pop, yeah, that's fine. Saved us some time. Um, it's tough, because if you get another two of diamonds, you'll be stoked. But I think we'll just go PhD instead and save two of diamonds. This means that, effectively, I've crossed... We might as well check. Oh, he's done it! Look at that. So I think I've effectively crossed the threshold from, um... Caring about... Buying things from the shop to caring about using Two of Diamonds for score. So my goal there is to effectively get 49 to 50 cents so we can get, uh... Big range, by the way. But get 49 to 50 cents and then use that to, uh... Get to 99 cents, and then we got a great setup there. Um, fuck the key. I don't I don't care. We got to go. We got two of diamonds and Awaz. What's the point of Awaz? Awaz, I thought, is a nice um, last-ditch sort of, like, effort to make sure that we can make the hush fight. And keep in mind, it showed up before we had Mega, so that changes everything. So I'm assuming Mega was not that hard to get there. A lot of people are going to get it. But how quickly? You don't need to be that fast with Mega to make it through an entire floor um, before the mom fight. There's no doubt about that. Why are you slow? I don't know what I've done there. Um, by the way, I just want to point out that if you think that we've gotten carried, you're right. But we also have um, 3.9 damage. 
And the only reason we have 3.9 damage is because of Potato Peeler. Oh, it must have been, like, Linger Bean slows enemies down if they pass through it? Like, sincerely... Were it not for, uh... Were it not for Mega, we'd probably still have a chance to make it to Hush... Or, well, to Boss Rush first, but it would be... It'd be a little touchy. In fact, like, our best damage dealers, in my opinion, are the Orbital that we probably, like, most people probably will choose not to get that. Because I only got it due to Potato Peeler. And then, um... Our Trinket. And the Trinket, everybody's gonna take if they find it, because it is a good one, but... My thinking is, I, I don't need Mega to kill Mom quickly. The reasoning for that is very simple. I have a cube of meat. That's fine. We didn't really... I mean, Trinket Smelter would be fine to smelt one Trinket, but 15 cents is kind of a cost there, you know? Um, as long as we can make the Mom fight, we'll probably make it with Mega. But we'd, we'd rather use Mega to start Boss Rush if possible. You can see, like, the difference between this run when we have Mega and this run when we don't is absurd. I'm really, really hoping this is the right way. It's still... For the next, like, few seconds, it's not urgent. But it'll become urgent. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna be fine. Don't even care that I got hit there. Second secret room is very likely. We got a black rune. Do we care about a black rune? <sighs> I guess not. I know that you're gonna say for boss rush that's the right call. But I really, I feel like on a daily... Especially a daily where I've, I've got some pressure, you know? Like, I really want to perform well on today's daily point-wise. I think Black Rune is, uh, is a mistake. That was actually terrible. Um, because it would replace Awaz, which is a, an amazing backup for us. Or it replaces Two of Diamonds, which could be worth a few thousand points. Uh, I am going to take Ludo. And I may regret this. Please don't take forever to animate when you die. I hate that. Like, I don't mind killing a couple of waves. Naturally, you know? Doesn't bother me that much. Which is exactly what we're going to have to do here. Um, but Mega is going to make it a lot easier for us. We really need... Like, no joke. We really need to up our damage. This is a terrible daily. And all this for international fucking jelly bean day. I know what you're going to say. How would they make one about Earth Day? I don't know. Tiny planet. Seems like an easy one. Oh, but actually, Earth isn't a tiny planet. Yeah, well, actually, you know, butter beans are not jelly beans. Black beans are not jelly beans. There are black jelly beans, but they're two different things. So any two could play that game. By the way, Earth is sort of a tiny planet. I don't know if, if I had to put Earth into the... Into the cosmic sense. How big is Earth? Let me see. So, like, what's... Is Mercury bigger than Earth? No. Here, you know, keep me honest, chat. I like to consider myself semi-learned. I was really into astronomy when I was younger as well. Why? I honestly don't know. Probably, you know, when I was like three, somebody was like, Hey, you seem to really like space. And I was like, that's me. I'm the kid who likes space. Um, but yeah, Mercury's definitely smaller than Earth. Mars is smaller than Earth by a little bit. Venus... Venus, I'm on the fence. Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, no doubt larger than Earth. They're called gas giants. I gotta think... Neptune's gotta be bigger. Pluto's much smaller. Oh, Pluto's not a planet. Yeah, but, in, in, you know, we can still refer to it. Just because he's not on the board of directors anymore doesn't mean he didn't have, uh, you know, a lasting legacy at the company. So, I mean, the the problems with this run are apparent. And if you think that this is bad because of, um, 
Ludovico technique, you're out of your mind. You're actually just wrong. I don't say that to make you feel bad. We have 3.9 damage, which is less than Kane's starting damage. With the same rate of fire we had when we began the run. I It won't let me move my tier properly anymore. So that's, like, that's not how that's supposed to fly, dude. Um, really, Mega's like the only thing having a chance to keep us in the game here. So I, at first, I really did think maybe I was being needlessly... Um, our shot speed is really bad, too. Needlessly um, sort of worried and conservative about this AWAS rune. But now I'm like, fuck, dude. I was 100% right. This AWAS rune may be necessary to skip part of the womb one. Although I'd really prefer not to. Okay, well, that's terrible. How did you guys not get killed? Dude, the shot speed. I've never seen... A shot speed that's this meaningfully bad. So, I mean, this is where we're at. We got three bombs. I very much do not mind using all three on Carrion Queen. At least we knew all three were useful there. Then I'm going to hope that Carrion Queen crashes into its own red poops. And I'm going to use this second level cube of meat, which might be my fucking savior. To do damage quickly. Now the next floor should go fast. I mean we have AWAS, we have Mega. We're we're fucked for the delirium fight, by the way. For the delirium floor, perhaps. The bomb or the bosses should be somewhat easy, but um Void himself is gonna be a damn nightmare. I don't know, we've probably got like five waves to go here. As much as I hate to say it, we may want to skip uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm trying to think I don't want to just finish boss rush without having killed everything Because that's just, like we've already committed here And we, I don't know, are we even going to be able to kill Hush with Mega? That's another thing, like don't even worry about the fucking void floor dude Just worry about trying to defeat Hush Okay, stand still when you land. Stand still when you land still! This should be like against the fucking Geneva Convention. To have you suck against Monstro 2 on Boss Rush. Like, Monstro 2 is not supposed to be the world's most difficult boss. It's supposed to be one of the easier bosses you could face at this stage of the game. I'm still not worried at all about time. Because again, as long as we don't get a black market AWAS, we can get ourselves out of there. And I still, I feel like... I don't know. If, um, if you got damage from somewhere else... We gotta try it this way. If you got damage from somewhere else, like, more power to you. I don't know where you got it, but... You deserve it as far as I'm concerned. That's the last wave, please. Oh, we've done it. And we got Halitosis, which is worth, like, nothing. But, okay. Um, and we're close to getting Mega back. But I, I really think that we have slightly more damage than average right now. Which is horrible. I, I feel for everybody out there doing today's daily. Because that's actually abysmal. I mean, you, I'm very tempted to just get the fuck out. Like the AWAS right away, but it's the wrong call. The right call is to get Mega charged and then go really fast. Okay, that was bad. But, I mean, we really, really do not want to do the Hush fight. It's actually perfect to get a dead end right here. Because it means that we're not going to get a dead end immediately, probably, when we go to our next section. And a battery charge is extremely valuable right now. Um, sure, I don't really want to do that room right now because 
you risk doing the whole room and only getting one charge out of it, which is really, really not good. Um, I mean, that's probably a secret room. We all know that. Catch. Didn't give you a full charge, but that's fine. <sighs> it's a pretty bad daily. Why do they make these dailies so bad? Why do they make the dailies so bad? I mean, there's... If we wanted to be brave, idiotic, but with the perception publicly that we're more clever than we actually are, what we could do is use AWAS after the, um... Stop this. If he jumps, I can't dodge, like... We could use AWAS on the Womb 2 to skip the Hush fight. Yeah, genius play, right? And then, what does that give us? Well, it gives us entrance to Shoal, which we already would be able to get to, I guess. Yeah, it's not a smart idea. But I, I really, I feel like we're post-Hush. We're living in a post-Hush universe right now. Not just on timing, which is looking increasingly likely, but on, um, like, desirability. But I don't feel ashamed of it, because I really feel like anybody who makes it to Hush, first off, deserves what they get. And I mean that in both senses of the phrase, you know? We actually, like, might also be close to death, so... It's actually a useful speed upgrade. So our two of diamonds is still useless. I'd like battery charges, but... Sure, okay. Emergency contact. And if you interact, your life is on contract. Well, do you use Mega right away? I'd prefer not to, but it depends on the boss. We've definitely taken red heart damage as well. You know what? I think if, if we've taken red heart damage, we have to, like, shoot for the moon here. And I know that's bad. Like, I think I'm actually just going to say... the First off, third level cube of meat is fine. No orbital anymore, but that's okay. Um, I, I think I'm just going to say no hush, just live and win. As we enter the womb too here. I really, I, I've talked about this in some episodes, but I'm not sure if they're daily, so I'm not sure if they've gone up to the point where you can keep me honest here. But I really feel like, it, it feels like there's been a patch or something for Isaac that has reduced damage. And I'm not saying that there has been, I'm just saying it feels like there has been. Which could be explained by many things. One being, me being too bad to get, uh, or playing too badly at least, to get uh, deals with the devil. Although on this run, that kind of flies by the wayside. And on our last, it wasn't our last daily, but our last, like, well, you haven't seen it yet. That one you haven't seen, I guarantee. Because you'll, <laughs> you'll know when you've seen that one. And it's not because I played particularly bad, it's just because it's, it's one of those, like, train wreck, one in a, you know, probably one in a hundred seeds, maybe like one in, one in two hundred or something. Either way. Let the maddies hit the floor. Ace of Diamonds, we do not care. Pseudo waste of a battery charge, I'll admit, but... Okay, so there's the Hush fight gone. In a way, it's kind of freeing. And I know that it's easy to look at this in a vacuum and be like, Well, you fucked up. You said you're only the only way you could fuck up is if you didn't make it to the Hush fight. Well, you fucked up. Sure, yes and no. Um, you know, when you start a semester, I use school as an analogy, by the way, not just because I'm a turbo nerd, but because it's something that most people have some familiarity with, and, and, you know, it makes the metaphors that much more universal. But when you start a semester of school, and you think that you're a good student, you're motivated, um, you're like, well, if I, as long as I get an A in this class, I'll be happy, you know? Then who knows what happens, you know, maybe you get sick, maybe you have a family emergency or something like that, you gotta go away for a while. Maybe you bomb one assignment you thought you did well on, and then, you know, your expectations change. Everybody's in the same boat here. Um, I actually... I tweeted about it, but I wrote... I'm still in school as a 28-year-old because I'm... I, I was, you know, I was gonna say I'm a nerd, but actually, like, I'm committed, at least right now, to a life of continued learning. Like, I didn't... I never felt when I graduated, like, from high school or university that... That was it. I like learning. I don't want to be, and you know, if you're one of these people, more power to you. But I don't, I don't want to be one of those people who's 
literally in a full-time schooling program for like their whole lives. I have friends I went, I graduated high school with, went to university with, we're 28 now, and they're working on like their second master's degree. And I'm like, that's sweet, especially if it ends up, you know, giving you a job that's fulfilling that, you, that you're going to be happy with later. But if you're just using it as an excuse to avoid the real world, like, let me tell you, dude, I was in the second year of university during the, um, the start of the quote-unquote Great Recession in 2007-2008. Um, everybody in my undergraduate cohort was like, we'll just go to grad school right out the recession. And then, you know, here we are. It hasn't really gotten that much better. Well, YouTube and Twitch have gotten better, but, like, uh, apart from that, like, outside of these industries, it's been a little stagnant, you know? So, who knows when slash if that's gonna change. Either way, um, dude, I'd love to have a chance at the deal with the devil here, but this is a bit uh, a bit tricky, isn't it? Um, anyway, I was going to say, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking effectively software development classes and it's finishing up a C++ class that is one of the last requirements for the you know, first oh, damn it! <laughs> level of certification here. Uh, not bragging, not bragging. I got a 75 on the final exam. Why, why would you say not bragging? That's that's not that good. Yeah, but the class average on the final exam was 46. And what bothers me is that it didn't get curved. I mean, we just go down to the next floor, right? Like, for those of you unaware, curve is basically... It, it, it is this idea that even difficult classes should have a class average that's representative of what the faculty wants. So, you know... There, there are going to be some classes that have a class average of like 80, 85, even 90, you know, if they're super easy. But even for classes that are really hard, let's say everybody failed the class. Should everybody fail? Or is it more probable that things were made far too difficult if even students who are getting straight A's are, you know, getting a 30 in the class? So that's what the concept of a curve is like. Ooh, I made this too difficult. Let's, inju let's adjust it and give you a mark relative to your, um, to your classmates. So it was not curved at all. So what that 46 on the final exam effectively meant is twofold, I suppose. One of them is that I guess our professor thought our class was stupid and didn't study enough. So he's like, well, you reap what you sow, motherfuckers. He didn't say that, but um, maybe he's thinking it. And the other one is like, a lot of people ended up failing the class. I left the exam being like, I, I don't think I failed the class, but I think I did pretty badly. And luckily that was incorrect, which honestly is insufferable. Whenever you have, you know... As someone who's almost failed some classes, admittedly, in my life, haven't always been the most diligent student. Um, there's distractions in college, that's what I'm saying. But as someone who's almost failed a couple of classes, you know, you go to your final exam with your friend who has like an 85 going in and you got like a 57. And then you leave and they're like, oh, that was really tough. I hope I passed it. And you're like, you know... Just waiting for it. Two weeks later, you get the exam mark, and he's like, Oh, I got a 91! And you're like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know you did, because you didn't almost fail it. I don't know what you're... You're looking for sympathy or something, but anyway. That's like this run. Which has taken its toll on me. It's said goodbye too many times before. Now, I hate to say this, but if we're going to die, just make sure you pop... These guys don't have brimstone, right? Make sure you pop uh, two of diamonds before you do. We actually like might as well pop AWAS right now and just see. I mean, we really m should have popped it on the last floor, I suppose, but... I think we're going to rank well today. I think a lot of people are going to die on today's daily. Oh, he does have Brimstone. We've done it. I mean, we have Mega, so we should live. I'm very tempted to pop two of diamonds, but maybe not right now. You know what? Go back and shoot the red hearts. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot... Oh, well, we shoot the fires is what I meant, but it doesn't matter because we didn't get anything out of them. Um, well... I don't think we should... I've made my decision. I'm not going to go in. 
I'd rather go in with a full Mega Charge, even though that might not be possible. The reasoning is, it takes a while. Alright. It takes a while for the bosses to spawn. Like, the, the first Fallen boss does not spawn immediately. Yep, yep. Yep, I tried to pop two of diamonds quickly. Oh, I died on today's daily, but look at that rank. That's actually a good rank, and that's how you know today's daily was way too fucking hard. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I feel like we did fine there. I'll see you next time.